when the accident happened, obviously I wasn't aware of how serious it was and nobody did for at least 72 hours. Um, I was in a, in a hospital in, in Bangalore and I just thought that this was uh, some kind of a very minor wound uh, or a condition. But uh, luckily there was uh, another doctor that was visiting the, the hospital to, and taking one of his patients in for an operation. And my and Jaya just said, you know, my husband is here and would you like to have a look at him? And he just walked into the door and I was lying on the bed somewhere here and he says, get this guy into the OT because uh, it's very serious. She said, no, we are thinking of uh, taking him uh, this evening back to Bombay. And so he says, he won't be alive by then. So he, I was ruled in. His own patient was rolled out. I was rolled in and uh, we did the surgery. Soon after that, I went into almost a haze and a, and a coma-like situation. I, within five days of coming into Breach Candy, I had another surgery. And I didn't come out of that one for a very, very long time. And it was, uh, I was actually clinically dead for a couple of minutes. Uh, then um, Dr. Udvadia, who looked after me and an absolute lifesaver, uh, just uh, said, I'm going to take a last chance. And he started pumping uh, cortisone injections into me, one after another, almost 40 ampules of it with the hope that something would happen. When I did come out of hospital, I realized and I heard the stories and, and read the news and um, there was just an unbelievable, um, unbelievable feeling of gratitude. And even gratitude is sounding so, uh, so, you know, so less. You, you, I felt that this was a great burden that I will carry every day. Hundreds of people used to congregate at the hospital. But Jaya noticed that always, uh, every time she drove into the hospital in the morning, there used to be one guy standing near the gate with one rose, and he would hand her the rose and say, just. And it was the best rose in the entire city. And then when I recovered and I was at home, uh, I got a message saying that there's this chap who's come with that rose. And so Jaya went and met him and said, yeah, this is the guy. So I, I went out and I met him and uh, he said, uh, I'm a black marketeer and with all the black marketing that I've done in your movies, I've been able to marry off two of my sisters, build a home and I've come to tell you that I'm going back to Kashmir where he came from and uh, I'm going to finish this job that I was doing. One of those days when I was uh, convalescing at home, a guy came and he said, he's brought a tokri full of samosas and just wants you to touch it. So I said, why? I said, just touch it. I just... And um, so I went out with him while he was going and I found that there was a huge truck full of hundreds of baskets of samosas. So what, do you, what is all this? He said, sir, I own a stall, a samosa stall at one of the, I think, metro or somewhere. And every time your film used to be released, I used to double my price of the samosa. So I've made all this profit and I want to distribute this amongst the poor.